Hi everybody, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, Group Policy MVP and founder of Policy Pack Software. And in this video, we're going to learn how to configure and manage AutoCAD 2012 using Group Policy and Policy Pack. So let's get started. This is, uh, this is AutoCAD, and if you go to uh, the little A and then Options here, Man, AutoCAD is a big place. There are a lot of settings a user can mess up here, and uh, any one of these settings could mean a delayed project, a botched drawing, uh, recovery, um, and, uh, you know, uh, who knows what. But, uh, gosh, I don't want to be in the situation where my AutoCAD isn't configured correctly. So what Policy Pack can do is that we can guarantee the settings for your AutoCAD uh, drafts people. For instance, if you go to uh, open save here, maybe uh, the default behavior of automatic save of every 10 minutes isn't enough. Maybe you want to configure that to every four minutes. And even if it is configured to every four minutes, how do you prevent them from going around the settings and, uh-oh, unchecking a checkbox that maybe they shouldn't? Okay, so we're going to uh, show you how to do that using Policy Pack in a second. Um, also, maybe create backup copy with each save. That sounds pretty important, too. You want to make sure that that thing is, in fact, clicked on and guaranteed to the right setting. Let's go over to Plot and Publish here. Um, you know, uh, there's a lot of settings here that a user can mess up. Uh, for instance, plot to file. You probably want to make sure this is going to the right location. Maybe it's a network location. How do you guarantee that that plot to file location is going to be dictated correctly to all of your AutoCAD users so that it's not going to this local location, it's going to some network location that maybe makes you know more sense. Um, if we go over to, say, user preferences, and uh, we take a look at insertion scale. Um, you know, I've heard stories of people, uh-oh, messing up the units here and blowing up drawings. And so we're going to change it to uh, our company standard here and then guarantee that those settings are turned on. And we'll do that in just a second. And also this system tab, this system stuff here, you know, most uh, AutoCAD users should not have to deal with this stuff at all. So we're just going to shield them from all of this all at once, and I'm going to show you how to do that using Policy Pack. So let me go ahead, I'm going to close down AutoCAD right here, and then I'm going to jump over to my uh, Group Policy Management Station. And so you'll get uh, Policy Pack for AutoCAD 2012 as part of our free and included pre-configured policy packs. Here it is, uh, AutoCAD 12. I'll open it up. You can see our pre-configured pack here. On your Group Policy machine, you're going to simply copy the file over to your Program Files Policy Pack Extensions folder. So I'll just go ahead and copy that in. And oh, there we go. I already had it there. So that's it. You're ready to go. Um, as soon as you copy that file, you are ready to manage AutoCAD using Group Policy. So what we're going to do for all of our eSales users, we're going to manage AutoCAD using Group Policy and Policy Pack. Okay, we're creating a new Group Policy object there. We'll go ahead and click Edit here. And um, once we've got uh, the Group Policy Editor open, we'll dive down under Policy Pack Applications, New Application, and there it is, AutoCAD 2012. And you can see all of our other packs that uh, I've copied in are available for me right there. So I'll go ahead and click on the item here, which will open it up, and you'll see that there's very little learning curve. This looks exactly almost like AutoCAD itself. Almost every tab is here. Almost every setting is available for you to dictate and manage. It's a very comprehensive way to um, manage your AutoCAD in mass using Group Policy. So let's let's go over to the open and save items. And as we said, if a user were to uncheck automatic save, we want to guarantee that it's on. We want to click that. So a check mark uh, plus an underline means we're going to deliver a check mark. We want to set this to four minutes between saves. We'll also um, make sure that these settings are guaranteed on. We can right click over them and disable the corresponding control in the target application. We can disable that. We can also right click and disable uh, minutes between saves. So now the settings delivered and it's locked down. Same thing with this create backup copy with each save. Let's go ahead and right click over that again and disable the corresponding control. So we're setting the check mark and locking it down. Um, let's go over to um, user preferences. Like I said, if, uh, if we want to, we can uh, dictate these settings as centimeters and maybe millimeters, okay? So maybe this is the corporate standard for the, the length of a project or something. And once again, we can right-click and disable 
these things. So we're delivering the setting and disabling it so a user can't possibly screw it up. Let's go over to a system. You know, maybe we don't want anything in system to be touched, nothing at all. So we can right click and disable the whole tab in the target application. So the whole shoot and match is going to be locked down, everything in system. And that's it. So we'll go ahead and click OK here. And let's dive over to our uh, uh, draftsman machine here. We'll run GP update. We'll get the latest greatest group policy setting. And uh, you could be logging on for the first time. You could be changing machines. So if somebody roams from machine to machine, you want to guarantee that those settings are going to be consistent on all those machines. Um, or they get a new laptop or desktop. You don't have to worry about what those settings are. They're always going to be delivered using group policy and policy pack. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and we'll rerun AutoCAD at this point. All right, so we got, all right, so we have AutoCAD running here. All right, so we've got AutoCAD running at this point now. We'll go back to the A here and go to Options, and let's see the uh, magic happen. We'll go over to the Open and Save, and you can see here that uh, if it were to have been unchecked by the uh, end user, it's going to be delivered using Group Policy and locked down so a user can't mess it up. There we go. And if we were to go to um, user preferences here, look, we've dictated centimeters here and millimeters there, just like we said, and also locked it down so a user can't possibly screw it up. And for system, you can see that the system tab is completely grayed out and there's nothing a user can do to get around this. Now, Policy Pack will also guarantee that this will push through to all profiles, not just this one unnamed profile. If you have multiple profiles, um, it will the settings that you guarantee using Group Policy and Policy Pack, we have some extra magic and it will guarantee to be pushed through to all profiles. Uh, if you allow them to create their own profiles, that's great. We will guarantee these settings in all profiles. So if that's something that's interesting and important to you, uh, Policy Pack is the way to do it. So again, if you're interested in using a, a policy pack to deliver your uh, AutoCAD 2012 settings using group policy, we're here for you. Just click on the big old download button or the webinar button, uh, or just pick up the phone and make contact and you can get started and try this out yourself. Thanks so much. Remember with policy pack, what you set is what they get. Thanks.